Hi, in this video I'm going to show a couple different ways to essentially create a thumbnail or a larger version in using Dreamweaver CS6. So like in this example here, right, so I've used a spry element where this pops open and the mouse, you can mouse over and use some CSS and there's a lot of ways that you can kind of do this kind of mouse over. But that gets a little technical. Um, in this case, I just spent some time going and there are a lot of places you can look at my code and you can see, but there are a lot of places out there where you can find um, code to use to do something like this. So in this case, I got mine from Dynamic Drive CSS Library. But essentially you have, in situations like this, you have a small image that I'm just going to save this here and I'm just saving these in my downloads folder for now. Um, but you have a small image that you want to use, but you want the user to be able to see the big image if they want to. So, um, so in this case, let's just start a new file. And I'm going to save it. Let's just call it sample thumb. And so in this case, I'm going to insert my image, my small one. And right now, I have it just called thumb, so I can tell the difference between the two. I'm trying to make this smaller, the screen, so everything's happening off screen. But So I click on this, right? So one thing I can do is I can link to, for instance, the larger one. And so that is one way to do it. So this is, so I'm going to copy this image. I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to link to it. So I'm going to save this and preview this in Safari. So now, let's try that again. Save that again and preview. So now when I click on it, right, it's going to essentially give me that option, right? And I can click on this and I can change the target to blank. And so this is one way to kind of and, and you could even add some text and tell the user click on it for, right, and there you go. And then you could also, so that's the first example. Okay, so now I've named that link to larger. Now this is another, I'm going to call it pop-up to a larger image window. And so in this case, I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to insert the big image in here. So it's basically yelling at me right now. And I'm just doing this fast. So I'm going to save this real quick. So I saved that as big. But now what I have, if I go back here, so if I click on this, is under Window, I went down to Behaviors. And that gives me this window here. And if I click, with this clicked on, I'm going to go to Open Browser Window. And so this is where I can browse for, I created a new image a new file with my image in it. So I'm going to say 600 pixels. And I could choose, you know, what else I want to actually give here, right? And I'm just going to write big version. Hold on. So it doesn't like that I have a space. So I'll do that. Click OK. Let's save it and preview it. And so this is now is when I click on it, it does the pop-up, right? And so and I could make this smaller and make it work better, but you can get the idea. There's lots of other things you can do here. So in this last example, I went to Dynamic Drive. I found CSS3 Hover Image Gallery. And basically when I mouse over something, right, it enlarges. So in this case, I'm going to copy the CSS and the HTML real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've copied the HTML in, and I actually just used one image, and then I copied the CSS, and I'm just going to use the big one here, and I'm going to see what that looks like. I haven't spent much time to know whether it looks like it's using a hover effect, all right, to make it big and small it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change that image to use the thumbnail version. I'm going to open this. I'm going to save and preview. Okay, so now you can look. It... You know, it's a little blurry, but you get the basic idea of three ways to make pop-ups. 